Hey guys, this is Mrs. Laura coming to you guys with a tutorial on how to find your climate and location, your latitude and longitude, absolute location on Google Earth for your project. So as you can see, I have my screen split, keynote on one side and Google Earth on the other. So I had decided that my climate zone was going to be tropical. And I knew I wanted my country to be on the west coast of Africa. If you do not know exactly where you want your country to be located, remember you need to look at the climate zone map that is under uh, the climate and location task and just pick a climate zone. And then from there, when you're looking at the map, as you go to Google Earth, you can see here, okay, as you turn it around, so here's Africa. Here's South America and North America, Ar Ar and Arctic, oh, I'm at the top. Let me go over. This is a uh, Pacific Ocean. We have Australia, then we have Asia, and so we have the islands here. Um, and then here is Europe, right there, see that with Asia? Okay, so, um, here I go. So here's Africa. Um, and you see that little red um, little tag up there. That's exactly what you're going to be doing. I don't want that tag there. So, um, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit. All you do is pinch with your fingers, right? So I said I wanted my country to be located somewhere here. Somewhere. So I'm going to zoom in a little. And all I'm going to do is touch hold it down and look what pops up that is my absolute location doesn't matter where you touch as long as it's in the climate zone region that you would like it so then down here where it says drop pin I'm actually going to touch down there and wait till it says copy to so you need to actually touch the number of the absolute location and see it said lock um, that it's actually copied to my clipboard. So now I'm just going to go right over here in key key um, keynote and right where after it says my country's absolute location is, I'm actually going to paste. Boom. There it is. Now, that 294 feet, that's telling you how far up it is from um, below sea level. And I don't really necessarily need that. So I'm just going to get rid of that. There we go. Now, I'm going to take where the drop pin. I actually want um, to take a picture of it. Let me go back and do that again. Let me see if I can find that absolute location. Because I actually wanted to take a screenshot of it first. and then. Uh, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna redo it. I'm actually going to take it out a little bit. I like that. So now I am going to mm, let's do it this way because I want to kind of show where it is on Earth as far as our map goes. All right, so now I'm going to take a screenshot of this. Okay, and I'm going to go back and actually pin it again, copy it to my um, clipboard. So now I'm going to go to Keynote. Okay. And so this one that I had before, I'm just going to delete it and put the new one down. Okay. Get rid of the feet. Don't really need that. Boom. Now, the image that I actually took, um, I'm going to go into Photos. My Recents. There you are. And I actually want to edit this photo a little bit. I want to crop out some stuff. 
So I'm going to go to edit. And I'm actually going to hit the crop feature. The crop feature is the um, is on your uh, left hand side and it's the third um, little icon down and it looks like a box with like arrows turning. So that's the crop feature. So I'm going to actually crop out. And so what you do is you drag the corners. I'm going to crop out all the stuff. I just want that. Yes. Perfect. Then I'm going to hit done. And, and that is my image that I want for climbing a location. So now I'm going to go back to Keynote. I'm going to hit the plus sign. Go to photo or video. Recent. And there it is. Did that touch it yet? Okay. Now I need to resize it a little bit. And then I'm going to go up to the paintbrush because I want to. So what's interesting is I actually can do instant alpha. Hmm. That means I can get rid of the sky and the background of the earth. And I think I want to do that. I really do. So let me I'm do instant alpha. Oh, love it. Love it. Mm hmm okay so now take a look at that oh I like that even more it's beautiful okay I think I want to lock it down so it doesn't move so I'm gonna go back to the paint board paint brush I'm gonna arrange and I'm gonna actually lock it that is perfect all right guys so there you go um, it's how you use Google Earth to find your climate and location, your absolute location. Hope this helps.